Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a combo box for a data-driven test. There is an application actually that ships with Test Complete 8 that's called orders.exe. You will find it in the samples that ship with Test Complete 8. You can open up any of them. There are some of them are written in Flash, C++, C Sharp, VB. You can choose whichever framework and language you'd like. You'll find an executable there. Let's go and open up this application. This application will allow you to create a new order, for instance, we'll say our orders, new order. And this combo box in here, you will notice that it has three elements in it, the My Money, Family Album, and Screen Saver. You can choose any of them, choose a quantity, a price per unit. I'm going to come in here for the customer name, we'll say Lino, for instance, and I can fill in everything else. Let's go ahead and, and type some numbers, the card number in here and we'll say OK. That will automatically add a record inside of this grid that you see on the screen. OK? So let me go ahead and delete this record first of all, and I'm going to start a recording session in Test Complete for this. We'll go ahead and start a new project in here. Right now this is based on JScript, and I'm going to actually use keyword testing for doing this entire test. So we're going to go ahead and start recording. We we'll click on the keyword uh, record keyword test right there. And there is my application. I was going to say orders new order. I'm going to maybe choose something like family album, for instance. And we'll come in here, we'll say Lino again. Say Lino, okay. And then maybe the card number, some numbers in here, no big deal. Alrighty. And then I'm going to say OK. And we have our record. Let's go ahead and stop the recorder. As you can see in here, I'm going to stop the recorder. Test complete will finish and it will generate my entire keyword test for that simple test that I just made. Okay? That is my order process. That is my main form. This is where I did orders new orders from the menu. And another window will show up. Notice the first line in here that says product names. This product names in here, folks, is the combo box. It's using a function built in called click item that you can pass the value inside of this combo box or the index 0, 1, and 2. This will be 1, which is family album. Alrighty? And then it actually uh, recorded my clicking inside of the customer field and then entering some information inside of there. I actually had to click some uh, backspaces, so that's not a very important one in here. I'm just going to take this out. Let's delete this line. And I'm just going to leave the set text to set the word to Lino inside of there. Alrighty. And then I went to the card number and I entered some number. And finally, I clicked on the button OK. I can run this 100 times and it will create this record with Lino and this number and the family album being chosen chosen every time. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the data-driven test. So I actually prepared an Excel spreadsheet in here. This Excel spreadsheet, as you can see on the screen, has a product column, a name column, and a card number. And I chose every time different values. These values need to be, of course, in the combo box, like my money, family album, and screen saver. Choose different names and different card numbers in here on my sheet one in Excel, as you can see. Alrighty, let's go ahead now. I call this one, by the way, test.xls. Let's go ahead and save it on my C drive. So it'll be easy access to it. We'll go to the C drive and we'll say test.xls. All right, I'm going to shut down the Excel spreadsheet. And now notice in my operations there is a data-driven loop. I'm going to drag this data-driven loop and put it above this line. There are no projects uh, variable created right now, so I'm going to create one. We'll call it my loop, for instance. You can create whatever variable you'd like. We'll say next. And now I get to choose from Excel, CSV, databases, or the internal table variable inside of Test Complete. I'm going to use Excel, say Next, choose my test. There you go. Uh, I think I looked it on my C drive. Let's go to Computer, C drive, look for test.xls. There it is. And we'll say Next. It will show me the three different sheets available. I wanted to uh, read from the sheet number one. We'll get the three records that I added. We'll say finish. And now my data-driven loop is ready. Notice if I leave it like this, it will only capture the last record because that needs to be indented. So don't forget to indent this to make it inside of the data-driven loop. That means now the data-driven loop has three records inside of it, so this code will run three times automatically and the cursor will move automatically for you. If I run it as is right now, it will still be hard-coded to family album. Lino and the, the number for each one of the records. 
right? So it would be entered three times exactly the same way. Don't forget to come in here, double click the values that you'd like to change, and instead of hard coding them to something like family album or Lino or the number in there, let them get the value from the loop itself. So let's double click in here. That is the dialog that will come up. It will show you the family album is the item being chosen from the combo box. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to tell it, do not load this as a constant value, but instead get it from a table data. And in the table data, we will see that my loop is available, and these are the three different uh, columns available in my Excel spreadsheet. So it obviously read that correctly from the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to say, get that from the product. We'll say, okay, there. Well, and that finish. Let's go to the Lino, double click on that. Instead of getting from a constant again, I'm going to get it from the table data. And there is my name. And then finally, we'll do this on the card number. And we'll do it based on a table data. And we'll use it the card number. All right, that is all good. Let's go ahead and see if this actually worked. I'm going to delete this record from here. It's not important, but we will do that anyway. And then I'm going to run my test. So when I click on Run Test, you will notice that it's actually choosing from the combo box automatically for me, entering the first record, going through the second record, and going through the third record. The important part is we use the click item that was recorded for us to be able to do that for us. And as, it, as you can see, the test is 100% successful, and I ended up with three records inside of my grid. Hopefully that was useful to you, and hopefully we'll see you again in a different video with Farm Falafel software. Thank you.